Hello, my name's Becky Safe. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to solve one of the mysteries of Ableton Live. And that is when your automation is greyed out and it's disabled and all you want to do is re-enable your automation and carry on making music. As well as showing you how to re-enable your automation, I'm also going to show you what you've done in the first place that's made your automation grey out. If you're new to my channel, please consider giving this video a like and a comment and if if you would like to see more videos like this, then please subscribe. All right, so let's jump into Ableton and the automation lanes are open. You press the A key to show and hide your automation. I have my automation in lanes. And if you don't see your automation here in these lanes, then you can come over to the right, click on the drop down menu and select your inserts and click on the ones that have the little red dot next to them because that tells you that they are automated. So the auto filter is automated here and then the device on and the frequency are automated. I already have the device on and the frequency in the automation lanes below and I've moved them down into automation lanes, multiple lanes by hitting the plus icon and then you can start to see all of your automation all in one. You also can just double click on the track and open up the device view and you can see that the parameters that are automated are the device on because there's a little red dot next to it, the frequency there's a little red dot and over on the volume slider of the channel a little red dot. So these are the three parameters that are automated and they're currently colored, which means that they are active. So if I play this, you will hear the automation. And you can see that the automation is moving as well. So all is good, all is fine. Now what you've probably done to disable this automation is move a parameter that is already automated without recording in. So when you normally record automation in, you would hit the record and then you'd start to move the parameter. So if I hit record, and I've moved the frequency there and it's drawn in the automation. It's still colored in this pink color. Now, as you're working on your project and you already have parameters automated, if you start to move them, you'll see now that the frequency has grayed out. If I turn the device on and off, that's also grayed out. And so all of the parameters, if we go to the mixer as well, that's still pink, but if I move the volume, it is now greyed out. And you'll see now that if we play on the track, the automation is disabled. It's not going to move. I know. So that's how you've disabled your automation is by moving a parameter without hitting record. And the thing that we want to know is how to fix this. How do we get it back? It's really obvious. And once you know it, you'll never forget. Go to the top and see this little backwards arrow. It's in a red orange color on my DAW. It might be a different color on yours, depending on what skin you've got. But if you press this, it re-enables the automation. It moves everything back to where it says it should be on the automation lanes. And you've now re-enabled your automation and it's as it should be. <laughs> I hope that's helped you with your grayed out disabled automation worries and you can now just carry on making music in Ableton. My name's Becky Safe and if you'd like to learn more about Ableton Live, please check out my complete Ableton Live course below where you can fast track your learning and get your music made faster. And if you haven't done already, drop me a follow on the social medias, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Facebook's not really a thing, is it anymore? If you want to follow me on Facebook, follow me on Facebook. Thanks for watching and bye.